If you are sick and tired of the constant negative critical thoughts that you have about your body image, no matter what you do, no matter what weight you seem to be at, no matter what exercise program you do or diet you try, I'm here for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to transform that critical voice into compassion, kindness, and confidence. So let's dive in. I'm Julia, I'm a body confidence expert. I spent my whole life until I was 30 years old hating my body. I went to every drastic length that you can imagine to quiet the negative voice in my head, including the most extreme diets, the most extreme exercise programs. I even went to the lengths of getting plastic surgery on a part of my body, thinking that that would make me feel more confident. And I finally realized that that and all of that type of toxic approach that I was taking was just making this problem worse and that voice just got louder and louder. So when I canceled all of those things and actually learned how to reprogram my mind, how to heal this part of me and actually befriend this critical part of me, that is what unlocked true confidence, true self-love, true peace in my life and I've never been happier and this is what I teach women worldwide to do. So I hope this will be incredibly life-changing for you and that you'll come back to this exercise over and over again. The problem is not your body, it's your mind. And so unless we actually teach the mind to think differently, it's going to keep doing what it's done your whole life, which is focus on parts of you, yourself and your life that it's not happy with. It's going to continue pointing out things that it believes are flaws because that's how our brain is designed. It's a problem focused tool. So your beliefs that you've acquired about your body are all conditioned. Those are all conditioned learnings. That's what media taught us, beauty standards taught us, you know, probably your parents or friends or whoever taught you. You know, those are all just beliefs, conditioned beliefs and stories that we have acquired through our lifetime. And it's important to voice that so that you realize it's not your fault that you think this way. You were literally conditioned slash brainwashed to think this way about your body. And that's why, I'm going to get closer to you for this point, that's why unless you actually teach your brain how to become resilient against your conditioning, it's just going to keep making you miserable. And you know that because you probably spent most of your life feeling miserable about your body image and doing everything under the sun to try and change it, only to realize nothing has actually changed it until now. So this is going to be revolutionary for you. And I can't stress that enough because once I learned these tools and I taught them to my students worldwide, their lives truly transform and they finally start living because they finally feel confident and Literally, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to do a tool with me. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap where I tap and repeat after me. And this is an evidence-based tool. I'm a certified master practitioner of conscious EFT, which is a tool that we're using. And we're gonna help retrain your brain around all of this constant negativity about your body image. So tap on these points and repeat aloud. Even though part of me is constantly criticizing my body and how I look. I would love to have a more loving relationship with myself. Even though part of me was conditioned with this never enoughness narrative about my body, There's nothing wrong with me that this is how I think. Even though part of me learned to have all of these critical, nasty thoughts about my body, and no matter what I do to my body, it never goes away. What if I could love and accept myself through this? Part of me has all these critical thoughts about my body. And when it is active, it makes me feel terrible. It makes me feel like I have to diet and do extreme exercise and change the way I look. 
it's exhausting and none of that is sustainable. And I'm sick and tired of dealing with this. This critical part convinces me that weight loss is the only way to be happy. But even when that happens, I still don't feel good enough. This critical part, it's so loud. It's hard to believe I even have other parts of me. It takes up so much space. And it's so painful. This part that learned all of these negative thoughts about my body. It's so loud. Take a nice, easy breath. And just allow your eyes to float around your room. Just looking around at the space that you're in. This helps to build safety within our body, our nervous system. And just notice how you are feeling in this moment after that first round. Okay, so we're gonna go into our second round and we're gonna help unpack this a little more. Repeating after me, even though part of me still has these critical thoughts about my body, It's not going to disappear in two minutes. This is helping. It helps to voice this out loud. And to remember that every single person on the planet has this same critical part. Even though part of me was conditioned to have all these negative thoughts about my body, and it is relentless. What if it could learn to have different thoughts about my body? What if this doesn't have to be the only way Part of me learned all these critical thoughts about my body. It's feeling good to acknowledge that it's a part of me. And that these thoughts are learned. What if I could remind myself of that every time that voice speaks up? What if I could remind myself that this part was conditioned to think this way? And that everyone has this part. But I can learn tools to have a healthier relationship with this part. Also have lots of other parts of me. Parts that don't have these thoughts about my body. Yes, part of me still has critical thoughts towards my body. But 
but acknowledging it is bringing the noise down and bringing compassion up. It's not my fault that I have this part. It's also not this part's fault that it thinks like this. Look at the world that we live in. With all of these toxic messages about our body. What if I could have some compassion towards myself? What if I could learn to stand up towards that noise? What if I could teach this critical part to be more kind? I didn't even know that was an option. Feeling good to acknowledge all of this. The intensity of the criticism is coming down. Realizing I have more power than I think. and I can try a different approach. Once again, take a nice, easy breath. Invite in some gentle movement, letting your eyes wander about your space. And then just coming back to your energy, noticing what you're aware of in this moment, how you're feeling. I would love for you to share in the comments what you're noticing through doing this exercise. And I want to share with you that this is the truth. A part of you was conditioned to think critical thoughts about your body but because they are learned, they can be unlearned. And in fact, this part really believes that it's helping you by having these critical thoughts. And the truth is we know that it's not. And fostering a relationship of compassion with that part of you is exactly what's going to transform that criticism and is going to basically evaporate it. It's the fighting that we do with ourselves that breeds more of it because all suffering creates more suffering and acceptance dissolves suffering. So when we accept that we have a part of us that's critical, we accept that it learned these things and we work towards having understanding and compassion for ourselves and these parts of us, that's what creates true transformation. That's what creates true happiness. That's what creates, you know, dissolves this constant chase of needing to fix your body. Because as long as you're on that train of obsessing over your body, obsessing over changing the way you look, you will never feel happier or fulfilled or confident. And you know why. But if you can truly foster this sense of self-compassion and kindness, it's going to dissolve all the pain that you're chasing unsuccessfully. And I like to use objects. I have this little troll, so it's cute, right? I like to use little objects to kind of characterize these parts 
that we have. So you might like to find an object to help you externalize and remind yourself that this critical part is a part. And initially you might feel really angry towards that part and that's okay. That's healthy, processing those emotions that you have towards this part. And eventually with the right support, that anger, that disdain, that, that you know, hate is going to turn into that self-acceptance and doing that will change your life. And I don't say that lightly. It will absolutely be the best thing that you've ever done for yourself. So a lot was said there, a lot to take in. It's a big lesson, lots of layers. Uh, if you want to learn more about this, you can always comment, you know, you want a part two and I can do more work on it with you. And if you're serious about overcoming these lifelong struggles with your body and you're done with the never enoughness and you just want peace and freedom with food and your body, you don't want to diet ever again. You just want to be really happy with yourself and confident and just live the life that you truly deserve. Well, I'd love to support you. I'd love to share more specifically about how I can help you to do exactly that. And you can book a complimentary consult call with me to learn exactly how you can do that. And remember that you can practice this resource over and over again. That's what's going to help to really reprogram the mind. We don't do anything once and expect that it cures lifelong struggles. That would be bananas. But practice is really, it's really going to make a difference. So keep coming back to this and keep coming back to this community. And I'm sending you lots of love and you got this.